I'm going to show you how to polish scratches out of a uh, an acrylic dome port using the micro mesh um, restoring kit. So this is my eight inch Icolite dome port, which I bought second hand and was nicely scratched up. Um, starting to affect the quality of the photos. Um, so this is the micro mesh kit, uh, and it's a uh, NC seventy eight one is the one you want to order. Comes with two uh, cloths, instruction book, uh, nine grades of sandpaper, a sanding block, uh, a little bit of detergent, some polishing or some liquid polish, and anti-static wash. And these are the nine grades of uh, sandpaper. And you start with the coarsest grade, wrap it around the foam block and using some soapy water as well. Uh, you wet the dome and just start sanding. Uh, you, you, st you sand in a straight line in, in one direction uh, and with this first coarse grade <coughs> Uh, you spend most of the time using this. Just keep sanding until all the original scratches have gone. You spend most of the time on this first step. Um, and I think yeah, every now and then you'll need to stop and dry it off, uh, see if the scratches are still there. That shows the fine scratches from the sandpaper. This step took me about an hour, I think. Um, so just going back and continuing on, a few of the scratches were still visible. Always sanding in one, only one direction. Okay, once you're happy that you've got rid of those original scratches, you move on to the next step and you start stepping through the other grades of sandpaper and all you're doing now is sanding off the scratches you made with the previous grade of sandpaper. So you turn it to 90 degrees, so you're sanding across those original sanding, uh, your, the first lot of sanding scratches. You just go 90 degrees, same thing, keep sanding until you've got rid of all the um, all the scratches from the first grade of sandpaper. Again, keep, every now and then stop, wash it off, dry it off and check to see that all the previous scratches are gone. And then just keep stepping through the grades. Each, this, each of these steps took about 10 minutes or so, I think. But you've got eight grades of sandpaper to step through. And it gradually becomes more and more shiny or less, less and less opaque. I didn't worry too much about going right to the edge with using the sanding block. Uh, later on, I, I started using my hands like this just in the last couple of grades to get right down to the edge. <coughs> so that's the end of the sanding, and it's, it looks slightly opaque, slightly, slightly <coughs> hazy. So then you start using this. Uh, liquid abrasive just to polish it up for the final step. Let's put a blob on a nice clean bit of that cloth that they've provided using the block again and polish. And they say to polish in one direction just opposite, opposite direction to the last sanding direction you used. Um, I think I ended up doing circular as well. <coughs> just basically polishing it to its final final shine. Here it is all finished, washing it off. Beautiful, shiny new port with no scratches in it. Whole process took me about two hours, including a tea break. Worked fantastically. <laughs>